UAVs are flying all over the place, but if you want to go underwater, something like the Video Ray might help. Can you tell us about it? Sure. This is the, uh, the Video Ray ROV, remotely operated vehicle. Uh, it's a small, submersible robotic camera uh, that's tethered to a control panel at the top, the surface, so you have a real-time view of what's going underwater in a very small, compact, and portable, uh, very easy-to-use system. Uh, what are some of the specs? How deep can it go? How long can it run? Sure. Well, it can go to 300 meters uh, or around 1,000 feet. It can run as long as there's a willing operator uh, that's awake up top. It's, it's surface powered, so it's standard uh, 110 to 240 universal AC power. Um, when you're running off a vessel, a generator will work uh, just fine or a, an inverter from a 12-volt marine battery or the like. So uh, as long as there's a willing operator up top, it can stay under as long as, as, long as it needs to. So could you do, give us a little walk around and show us how this actually operates? Sure. Well, the most important part of the ROV is, uh, is the camera. It's, it's what we're doing on it while we're there to inspect something. So the forward color camera here that tilts 160 degrees uh, up and down, surrounded here by two LED lights of variable intensity. Um, so, you know, light areas, dark areas, confined spaces, no problem. We can eliminate that and, and see what there is to see. Uh, the, the float block here is going to provide buoyancy uh, for the submersible underwater. Uh, the skid underneath here is going to give it something to sit on, as well as uh, we can adjust the, the ballast weight down here to make it neutrally buoyant in water uh, or trim it out as, as, as necessary for the, for the mission at hand. Um, then we have what makes it move is, a, is our thrusters. We have, we have three, three thrusters, uh, two horizontal thrusters here. This is going to control the horizontal motion of the sub. Uh, two brushless motors here and propellers, they uh, are counter-rotating so it'll actually spin right on itself, right on a dime, uh, kind of like a boat. Then we have a vertical thruster here that's going to control the depth of the vehicle, so up, down. A lot of people think it acts like a, a submarine where there's uh, air ballast involved, but no, it's, it's all powered uh, through, through our thruster and thruster motors. Um, we have our whip coming out here, and this is uh, going to hook up to the tether, which is the second most important piece of the system. It's going to feed it all the way up to the control panel. Uh, so through here we have our copper conductors that are getting power and sending video back from the sub to the surface. Um, inside there's, uh, we have 3D compass, uh, temperature, leak sensor, water temperature sensor. Um, so we know what's going on with the sub and in the surrounding environment when we're underwater. Um, that's pretty much it. It's extremely simple to maintain. Uh, the only thing you have to keep an eye on is, is where the uh, thruster or the motor shafts uh, come out through the, the back here. And we have a proprietary seal that's visually inspectable uh, and you can tell when it's time to change a new one. So other than that, there isn't really much you should be uh, need to maintain on the vehicle. So this looks like a modular design. What can you do with it? Sure. Um, well, it's, it's designed like that on purpose. We wanted it very simple, very easy to use. Um, simplicity and portability, you know, and, and being able to deploy rapidly are some of our biggest points on this uh, particular system. The modularity concept uh, is because we have such a diverse group of customers uh, that we need to serve, from military and law enforcement, port security, customs and border to the other end with oil and gas, offshore oil and gas, uh, exploration and, and maintenance, rig inspection to universities, scientific types. We do uh, habitat monitoring, fish counting, um, into nuclear decommissioning sites. Better a robot in that very high pH water than a human. Uh, so we've, we've, there's always something, somebody's coming up with something new to do with a video ray. And the way it's designed makes it very easy to accommodate these folks. So we can we can attach multi-beam sonars, radiation detectors, uh, gripper arms, cutting tools, um, you know, positioning systems, GPS. Uh, we have an aut autonomous control feature now, which is making uh, is almost taking the pilot out of it and making it that much more easy to use. So um, th that design that design lends itself uh, very well to for new products to come in, new companies to come in and manufacture sensors and, and tools for us. What's the availability of the system? Um, the system is very readily available. Uh, we. I think our turnaround time on delivering a system, depending on uh, what's ordered with it, uh, is probably about a week or two. Um, it, we move it, uh, move them out of the shop very rapidly. We do about two or three hundred systems uh, in, in a given year. 
Um, to this point now, we're over 3,000 systems sold since uh, our inception in 1999. Uh, we are the, the highest volume underwater remotely operated vehicle manufacturer uh, just by sheer number uh, of systems that we put out uh, a year and through the, through the life of our company. What is the base system cost? Uh, well, it depends. We have a, an entry level system that is going to you know, it's going to have a, a lower depth rating and the lower end cameras and stuff like that. It's around $12,000 up into the Pro 4, which is the latest and greatest model, uh, starting at a base price around 40000 And then you can get as crazy as you want from there to, with sonars and, and, you know, positioning systems and, and, and tools and sensors and things. So, Great. Well, thanks for showing to us.